I have a, a question that I kind of consider kind of mundane after all these uh, universal global questions about the war and peace. But um, what I'm interested in is the education system in Iraq. Uh, what's going on between K, uh, kindergarten and grade 12? Is it secular? Is it religious? And also the student movement in the university. Is it divided into Shia and Sunni? And um, what's happening with the student movement? And what's happening with the education system? The education system is in shambles. Uh, enrollment's down to about 30%. Um, so, uh, I'm doing a story on this right now, actually. It's, uh, it's over 70%. Uh, it's like 71, 72, maximum 76% um, of, of girls are not going to school because their families are too afraid to uh, let them. Um, uh, teachers are, are, are fleeing, they're being threatened. I mean, there's, it's totally lawless. So if a teacher uh, gives someone a bad grade, uh, then they're threatened with their life. So then they either flee or they start just passing people. So that's starting to happen now. Um, and uh, the, the education system is, is it's in a state of collapse, uh, without a doubt. Um, and as student groups, that kind of thing, um, <clears throat> Again, there's really uh, uh, none of that, uh, nothing I, I think really worth even a mention. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's happening to some degree, but I haven't seen any kind of organizing or anything like that. Because unfortunately, in Iraq, um, the occupation has been so brutal and savage, whether you talk about the U.S. military or militias or death squads, um, uh, really the only resistance that's left for people is armed resistance. Because the times that nonviolent resistance has been applied, it's been met with extreme violence. 